Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Chelsea if you're new and welcome back to another video. In today's video, it'll be all about perfumes. If you are not new here, you know your girl loves perfumes, loves to buy perfumes, loves to smell good. So I'll be talking about some of my favorite perfumes in this video. I'll also talk about some perfumes that I kind of like regret buying. If you are looking to purchase some new perfumes, looking for some recommendations, you are in the right spot. Sit back, relax, and let's get into the video. All right, you guys, so we are going to get started with the perfumes that I've been absolutely loving. These are perfumes that I would definitely repurchase. And I'm not a girl to repurchase perfume. When my perfume get low, I stop using it. First one would be Gentle Fluidity Gold. You guys, make sure you get gold. Silver smells like it's for a man. Now, both of them supposed to be like a um, unisex perfume. Women and men are supposed to wear these, but this perfume is so sweet. It's one of those like really sweet, inviting perfumes like... This is the vanilla scent that every girl needs. Just going to just intrigue whoever you walk by. Like this perfume smells so, so good, you guys. Like I absolutely love this perfume. Some of the notes in the perfume are juniper berry, nutmeg, musk, ambery woods, and vanilla. The thing that sticks out the most to me is the vanilla. I promise you guys, this is the most expensive vanilla perfume I've ever smelled. I'm not even a girl that really likes vanilla because vanilla gives cheap. Vanilla gives childish, but this is so good, you guys. Definitely, even if you don't purchase it, just go to a Nordstrom or a Saks or somewhere and just go smell it. I promise you, you'll fall in love. All right, you guys, so next up is YSL's Mon Paris. Looks like this. I don't know if y'all can see, but honey, we only got a little bit left. I love this perfume. This is your sweet, fruity, floral, perfect for summer. But you can also wear it in the cooler months, but this is going to really hit during summer. This perfume smells so good. It has a very good long lasting like staying power if I spray it on myself I take my clothes off at the end of the day my clothes will still smell like it I will still smell like it I absolutely love this perfume guys I love this perfume like I said it is a sweet fruity floral it has red berries in it this is one I will definitely be repurchasing so now we're going to get into a perfume regret I'm scared to show this perfume because this perfume is liked by many. I really wanted to like this perfume. I really tried to make myself like this perfume, but I never reached for this perfume. Every time I spread on myself, I be walking around with my nose tooted up like, ugh. It is Burberry Her. And girl, I got the big bottle. I've had this for about eight or nine months, and I just don't reach for it. It's something in this perfume that I don't like. It's I don't know. It kind of smells like, it smells like spritz. Like pump it up. I, I don't know. I don't know y'all. I don't know. I just don't like it. I just don't like it. And I wanted to like this perfume so bad. I wanted to like this perfume so bad. I really tried to make myself like this perfume, but I just don't like it. It's not like the worst I've ever smelled because I do have a few that I'm gonna go over that's worse than this one to me, but I just don't like it. I just, I don't like it. Burberry Hurt is classified as a floral gourmand. It has notes of red and dark berries in it. It also has notes of um amber, I think amber jasmine in it. And I don't know what's in that perfume, but Whatever they mix together, it's just not it for me. So this next perfume, Regret, I purchased this because I remember exactly when I purchased this. I, my best friend actually got this for me for my birthday. And I really wanted this perfume because around that time, I was watching all these perfume videos. And all the perfume girls were going on and on and on about how you need it, need it, need it. Victor, what is it? Um... Victor and Roth Flower Bomb. They were like, this is the perfume every girl needs. It's so sweet. It's so this. It's so that. And I bought it and I hate it. I do not like this perfume. 
This perfume is so sweet, it literally makes my hair hurt. It's just too sweet. And it's definitely a regret for me. As you can see, like, the perfumes that I like, they're like either, you know, I've put a dent in them, almost gone, and the perfumes that I don't like, look at that. Literally full. All right, y'all, let's talk about one of my favorite perfumes. If you are not new here, you've heard this story before. When I first smelled this perfume, I hated it. It was giving grandma, it was giving old lady, it was giving old church lady. But I ran it back, I smelled it again, and I absolutely love her. This is one of my favorite perfumes. This is YSL's Libre. I love this perfume. This perfume is bossy. It's date night appropriate. It's Whatever the occasion is, if you just feel like waking up in the morning and you want to feel good about yourself, you want to feel like you, you know, you on your shit, you look good, you smell good, you spray this girl, this is going to get you there. It is a warm floral and that it is. It's so warm and spicy. This perfume smells so good and then not only do it smell good, get into the bottle. Get into it. So pretty. Some of the notes in YSL's Libre is Lavender Essence, Musk, and Orange Blossom. This next perfume makes me so happy, y'all. Every time I spray it on myself, I smile. It just, it brightens my mood, like, and it is Marc Jacobs Perfect. I don't know what it is about this perfume, but it makes me so happy. The packaging is so pretty, y'all. Such a pretty package. It's so fun. I will say, if you're a more mature woman, this may not be the perfume for you because this is a little adolescent, but it just smells so good. It's like that, that Vic, your favorite Victoria's Secret or a Bath and Body Works spray, but in a perfume. That's what it gives me, and it just makes me so happy. Like, I love this perfume. This is a very floral perfume that I feel like you can only wear like in the spring and summer. I don't think this would be good in the winter because it's just, it's not giving winter. I mean, I might try it out, but it's definitely giving spring and summer. The only con I can think of with this perfume is that you may have to reapply this after a few hours because it's not the most long lasting. I've realized like it will kind of like fade away because it's not like a really strong perfume. It's just, like I said, it's real floral, it's real pretty, it's really light. It's just, it's really good, but you will have to reapply this all right, you guys, I may have a few people mad at me, but this is one of my regrets. Killian Princess. I don't like it. I don't like this perfume, and I wanted to like this perfume so much, I really wanted to like it. I bought this on a blind buy, and when I first bought it, I didn't like it. It smells like something I used to wear when I was a kid. It smells like Vera Wang's princess that's what it smells like to me and i just don't like it this perfume is really sweet um i would consider it like a sweet spicy maybe i don't know i just i don't like it the packaging is really pretty so this perfume has notes of ginger green tea and marshmallow it's a really sweet perfume so i definitely do smell that marshmallow in it but I don't know. I did buy this as spring was approaching and summer was approaching. So maybe this will be good in the winter time. So I am going to keep it in my collection until the weather cools down a little bit and then I'll try it again. This next perfume, I'm not sure if they even make it anymore. I was able to score me a brand new bottle of Marc Jacobs Decadence at Marshall's. I love this perfume. But this perfume is strictly for winter time. Consider it like a sweet, spicy floral. And when I say spicy, I mean spicy. But spicy in a good way. But you can tell by the packaging that this is a winter perfume. I feel like when perfumes are really, really dark like this, that's how you can kind of tell that it's going to be spicy. And for winter time, it smells so good, you guys. I absolutely love this perfume. I'm not even going to try to guess 
what I think is in here because I have absolutely no idea. But I love this perfume, so definitely make sure you check out all your like local TJ Maxx's and Marshalls because they have really good perfumes and they have some that are, I guess, discontinued that they're not making anymore or whatever the case may be. Time for Bitter Peach is easily one of my favorite perfumes and most expensive. This is one that I bought from the VIB Sephora sale. I was waiting to use my 20% off because like I said, this perfume is really expensive for it to be, I think this is like 1.7 ounce. It's expensive, but I absolutely love this perfume. This is what I would consider a summer perfume. It's so rich and powerful. Like some people say it don't smell like peach, but to me, you can smell that peach. You can really smell the peach. And it just smells so good and it's so strong and it's so bold. And you're going to know. Like, if you know, then you know. Like, if I walk by somebody and I smell this perfume, I'm going to know exactly what they're wearing. Perfume is so unique. I've never smelled nothing like this. I've smelled something similar. And we're going to get into that because that will be included in one of my regrets. I'm looking at her right now. Like, shame on you. My only kind to this perfume is Tom Ford does this thing where you can't see through the bottles. You don't know how much you've used. You don't know how much you have left. And I just do not like that. I am a very heavy sprayer when it comes to perfume. So I want to be able to look to say, okay, now chill out, Chelsea. Spray something else today. But with this one, you cannot see through the bottle. And all the bottles are the same. It's my perfume regret that I was telling you when I first smelled this regretful perfume. It really smelled like Tom Ford's Bitter Peach to me. Like that first initial spray, it smells peachy. It smells identical to this. But when it dries down, it is awful. I do not like it. And it is Angel. I'm not sure. M Monglaire. Monglaire. Help me, y'all. Help me. I know I don't really be knowing how to pronounce everything. But I know the perfume is called Angel. I just don't know how to pronounce who it's by. Looks like this. Absolutely love the packaging. I've been going back and forth for about a week now whether I was going to take this back or keep it and the verdict is in. I'm going to take it back because I just don't like it. Like I said, that initial spray, I really like and that's how I end up buying it. I was in Ulta. I was spraying about 100 perfumes. You know how we do. And I thought I liked it because I sprayed it. It smelled good. And I had so many other things on me. I just didn't quite know what I was smelling. I got home, took a shower, and I sprayed it again. And that's when I decided, I don't think I really like this. And I sprayed it the next day. And the same thing. I just, I don't like it. But it's really sweet. But it has, see, maybe I don't like it because it's so sweet. It has like notes of chocolate in it, notes of caramel. And that is just too sweet for me. Now, I've noticed I don't really like a too sweet of a perfume. I love sweet perfumes, but you can't be too sweet to wear. You make my hair hurt and all of the things. So, and to be specific, the notes in that perfume is caramel, chocolate, honey, and vanilla. So you can just imagine how sweet that perfume is. Now, to a person, a person that absolutely loves sweet perfumes, to die for. I'm sure you all love that perfume, but it's just a little too sweet for me. Coming back over to my favorite perfumes, we have Good Girl by Carolina Herrero. Harina. Not really sure how you pronounce her last name, but I absolutely love this perfume. The bottle speaks for itself. This is a Boss B perfume. When you want to feel bossy, sophisticated, much like YSL Libre, you wear this. This is perfect for a date night because it's another one of those perfumes that just like has that pure seduction about it. It just sucks you in. You know, people want to know more about you. I've had this perfume for a while now and now I'm see I love how I can look through this and I can see how much I have left. I'm halfway through the heel so I know I need to slow down but <laughs> I've had this perfume for a while and I absolutely love it. I love how it sprays out. You hit the heel and it just comes out in this beautiful mist. It smells absolutely amazing. This perfume is considered to be a warm floral and I could definitely go for that. 
Now this perfume, I never hear anybody talking about it and it is really, really good. This is Tory Burch Love Relentlessly. The bottle looks like this. It's really, really pretty. It has sandalwood in it. Pink pepper is considered to be a warm floral. And it's just really, really good. Like I really like this perfume. I bought it. But I didn't think I was going, you know, I just want to buy stuff sometimes. I just bought it just to buy it. But this is a perfume I reach for a lot. It's sweet, but not too sweet. This is like an everyday perfume for me. C by Giorgio Armani is considered to be a warm floral. It has notes of black currant. Orange Blossom and Vanilla. I absolutely love, love, love this perfume. This is a more affordable perfume, just like the Tory Burch one. And I just love it. It's like that everyday perfume. I've heard people say they mix this with different things. Myself, I myself, I just like to wear it by itself because it just smells so good. The packaging is really, really pretty. As you can see, I've definitely put a dent in it. I just love to have this for every day. Like I said, it's not super expensive, so I don't mind repurchase it, nor do I mind spraying it, you know, because sometimes, like, Mr. Tom Ford over here, I can't even see what's in here, so I don't want to just go around just spraying, 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 spraying. Like I said, I am a heavy sprayer, so not only do I like this, it's not that expensive, and, you know, I don't mind repurchasing it. Valentino Born in Roma is so freaking good. So pretty. This is another perfume that I don't mind wearing every day as an everyday perfume. Although this one is a little more um warm to me, so I think this will really hit in the wintertime. It is considered to be a warm floral. It has notes of black currant and also um bourbon vanilla. So it's one of those sweet vanilla perfumes that smells really, really good. I can't wait to winter time. I don't think I tried this in the winter time. But I'm going to really try this in the winter time and I think it's going to hit even better. But I love this. It smells so, so good. The packaging is good and yeah, girl. Last perfume that I have to talk about is also by Valentino and it's one of my newer perfumes. I got this perfume because I was on a trip with my friend Kendall. Hi, Kendall, if you're watching. And she had this perfume. And I was like, girl, what is that you're spraying? It smells so good. And she was like, oh, it's Valentino. I don't know how to pronounce the name on this perfume. That's why I haven't said it. But this is the packaging. And I love how Valentino does like the studying on their packaging. I just think it's so cute. It makes the brand stand out. It's just really cute. But I love this perfume. I was going to buy it when we were on our trip in Texas, but I had only bought with me a um, carry-on. And you know you can't put bigger items in a carry-on. So I just waited and I just recently got it. And I'm so happy to have this perfume in my collection because it smells so, so good. This perfume is considered to be, again, a warm floral. It has notes of warm um, bergamot, crystal moss accord, and something else, but I forgot. It smells really good, you guys. Definitely check it out if you haven't. All right, you guys. So that is all the perfumes we are going to go over today. I got a lot of perfumes sitting around me. I still have a lot up there that um, I like, but I just, I just wanted to highlight these perfumes because these are some of my absolutely favorites right now. Please comment down below. Let's communicate in the comments. Let me know what's your favorite perfume. What you wearing. It's summertime so let me know what is your favorite go-to perfume. Also let me know what's on your wish list. Like what perfume do you want? What perfume are you considering getting? And comment down below and let me know what perfume you absolutely cannot stand. Can't wait to talk to you all in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, I enjoyed creating this video for you. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.